Michael Vaughan's mention, Maxwell, Matthew Wade, Marcus Stoinis perhaps playing only as a batsman. But there's somebody in that lineup who will probably have a little bit extra pressure on him. Number one, because of the loss of Aaron Finch and the general changes to the Australian side and doesn't have a great record against Team India in T20 internationals. And uh, that is, of course, Stephen Peter Devereaux Smith, such an iconic player. But uh, we have actually put him in as, as our My 11 Circle trump card because if you're thinking advantage India, if you're going to put in Aaron Finch and you're taking him out, a good person to put back in is Stephen Smith. That's not a great record, Zahir, but uh, he's a class player and we always say one innings away from a big one. Today is a good day to do it for Australia. And, and look at the kind of form he has, he has shown so far in the series. So I don't think you can look too much into these numbers. You know, he's a class player. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's one of those top four or five players in, in the world cricket, which we often speak about. So, so I think, you know, he, he will not be bothered about these numbers. He's got a terrific record otherwise against India. So, so that is something which, uh, which Indian uh, bowlers will always be wary of. And, and you rightly said, like, you know, you're just one innings away from uh, your form. And, and Smith in this series so far is the other way around. You know, he just missed out on, on one or two occasions. So, so that is something which uh, which Indian bowling unit will be wary of and and uh, and would want uh, to to sort of continue with with the numbers which uh, which you've shown. I think for Indian team, it's important that Smith continues with the kind of numbers you just displayed uh, and and get out cheaply uh, for them to give uh, uh, give a give a a good uh, good initiative to to work into that. Uh, that lower middle order, which has not been consistent uh, for, for Australia. Michael, one of the things we attributed to Stephen Smith's success, those two back-to-back hundreds and 62 balls, was the relaxed nature he could play because he looks at his batting lineup to follow and he says, there's plenty to come, I can relax and play. He can't have that mindset today, can he? No, I'm, I'm interested to see how he comes out and plays because I just think in T20 cricket in general, um, not just for Australia, but in the in in the IPL, he's it, it, just been a little bit too hectic. I think he's been trying to hit too many boundaries. I think he's a, the kind of player that you'd, you'd say to Stephen Smith, "Look, we'd, we'd like to bat around you. You know, you just play, you just knock the ball around. Obviously, you'll find the boundaries naturally because he's such a good player." Um, so, really, he should be taking his fifty-over mindset in terms of the way that he approaches his innings into T Twenty cricket. And if it is that he only strikes at hundred for the first fifteen twenty balls, that that's fine because. You know, he will catch up and he'll end up, you know, getting a 50 or a 60 or whatever he ends up with at a strike rate of a 130 plus, which is what you require in terms of a player of Steve Smith. And then you get your cameos and you get your players like Maxwell who will score at over 200 for his 15 to 20 balls. Uh, that's the nature of T20 cricket. But I just think he's risked a little bit too much in, in the last few games that I've seen him bat in the shorter format. Uh, I think he can be a little bit more conventional. I think he can be that glue, the glue that all all teams need and and just you know back himself to back the majority of the innings if he does that his strike rate will will, will be absolutely fine 